Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> All right, folks, so <clears throat> I'm just going to let things get back to normal here. Welcome to the stream. It's going to be a little bit of a different one. Um, I'm starting out on this, uh, my, my YouTube studio uh, page here on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I got a, I got a copyright claim here. Now, this dude, this company is claiming that one of the songs that I used in this video is, is theirs. However, here's the thing. Every single one of the songs in that video is actually mine. And so I'm disputing that one because it's like, no. I made it using this program and you can find it on this SoundCloud and it's ridiculous. This copyright claiming system is BS. And and uh, and I'm sick of it. I haven't had a copyright claim in so long. And I'm really surprised that these people think that my songs are part of theirs. And it's just freaking ridiculous. So, the video, the video has been uploaded. Um, it's currently in dispute. Hopefully, they'll drop their claims because it's it's not their song. Um, but something something has to change. Either way, right now this stream is about finding new mods. So, I was following along with this dude's um, video. I wasn't really watching the video. I scrolled down to the, uh, to the mods list here. And so far, I have almost all of them. If you, uh, if you actually want to wanna take a look at the, at the video, I'll put the link in chat now if I can't. There we go. There's the link to the video if you want to check it out yourself. It's actually pretty cool. Um, this dude actually goes over the uh, over the mods and reviews them, shows you what they what they uh, look like. Um, so here's what I have so far. <clears throat> I have the the world generator, which is an ocean only world. Um, the abyss, abyssal depths, Optifine, obviously, so you can have clear water, so you can see underwater. Better diving, uh, animalium. There's really only one for that. Thankfully, see, it says game version 116.3, but then down here it says 116.5, so that's the one I'm going to be using. And then upgrade aquatic. Now, I'm not sure how much these mods are actually going to add, since uh, Minecraft actually added a lot of stuff in the 113 update. Uh, and I'm actually going to be looking for 116.5 mods. Yes, we're actually going to be getting uh, newer servers here uh, shortly. Um, the very first modded server uh, is actually that's open. That's going to be open to the public. 
um, is actually going to be coming sometime soon. <clears throat> because I already have the, the new box ordered to actually put it on. And uh, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to get it set up and uh, put the mods on it. And I will be streaming kind of sort of a behind the scenes uh, when that does happen. Uh, kind of show you guys, you know, what all I am, what all I have to do to get the uh, server uh, to work the way it's supposed to work. Um, so I got all of these. Now a lot of these, a lot of these uh, that's listed here in this uh, video of his. Is actually for 112.2. Uh, very few of them actually. I mean, as you can see, out of out of all of these mods, okay, this is the only only ones that actually have 116.5. So I'm just going to. I think I actually already looked at this one, and if I did. Then that means okay. I did not actually. Fantastic. I'm gonna be getting this one too. Okay, so here's what I want from you, chat. Also, hi Jackie. Welcome to the stream. Here's what I want from you, chat. I am out of mod ideas. So what I need y'all to do is I need y'all in chat right now to drop some 116.5. Minecraft mod suggestions for an aquatic server. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of your suggestions and I'm actually going to see what works, what doesn't work, and possibly download it and put it in the mod pack. Now, this server that I'm actually setting up right now with the, uh, well, not setting it up, but this server that I'm actually getting the uh, mods for right now is not coming to this network anytime soon. Uh, <clears throat> but I do want to have the mods available and ready for it. That way, when I do get the actual server, get it all set up, I can just start adding permissions and just go, go do it. Um... Terribly sorry for the inactivity. Just want to say that right now. It's just I I've been super busy or just really kind of felt like being in the shadows for a couple of days. More so the last one. Every now and then I'll get in a bad mood and I just don't feel like doing anything. Uh, but we're gonna breathe thing life new life into your worlds. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna actually get this. Uh, frequently asked questions. Let me show it. How can I? Is there any? Is there any? Does this add aquatic animals? Hey, I think it does. Is that a war? That's definitely a walrus. Well, that's cool. You don't have too many walruses in game. That's pretty cool. Um, now, if we actually go over to not this one, but this one, uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. I think it's uh, it's one of these animalium, maybe. What's this? Okay. Uh, abyssal death. Oh, this is actually the one I wanted to to talk about. So I'm gonna go back to that page. Uh, this uh world generator mod right here. Uh, I was actually watching the tutorial video on it. As you can see, it's literally nothing but oceans. Now, strongholds, woodland mansions, temples, and villages can still spawn in. Uh, they're just going to be, as you can see in the thumbnail there, uh, kind of in the water. <laughs> so, but I think, I think this will actually be pretty cool. And honestly, when I actually set up Aquatic SMP, uh, this is the style of 
world generation that I wanted. However, I couldn't really get it set up that way. <clears throat> not modded. Uh, not not modded anyway. So this is actually better than Aquatic S and P in a lot of ways because. Uh, if you go out far enough on Aquatic S&P, eventually you're going to get into a normal S&P world. Where it's nothing but land, it's not really what I wanted, but hey, it works. So, like I said in the title of this stream, I want you all to drop some suggestions in chat right now on different, uh, can I actually put that? Why can I not put that there? Is it because I don't have another tab open? Okay, let's do that. Go over here. Go over here. Hey, I finally got it. Okay, fantastic. So we're going to go over to the homepage on Google. And uh, we're just going to sit here and wait for uh, for chat to, to drop some modded suggestions. Because... I'm really out of ideas, and I guess, I guess maybe we should check out the progress while we wait. Um, <clears throat> of the hub. So let's go over to the Minecraft launcher right now, and uh, pop this on up. And yes, I am using a display capture instead of a, a game capture. That way you all can see uh, the Google search as I'm doing it. So that way you know I'm doing it live. It's going to be very fantastic stuff. And uh, it's going to be good. So let me go on over to... Actually, let me get back in GMC because... I have a, a stray grass block that I don't know what's there for. So there's been some changes. I don't know if y'all saw it in the last stream or if I even showed it in the last stream. But there's been some changes to the hub. Not in this area really, but I did change the positioning of the, the statues up there. And there's been some changes here. So you have the two gatekeepers. They both say the same thing. Uh, they're, they got barrier blocks all over them right now, that way nobody can actually click on them, because they're not ready to be used. And then you have the very fantastic Museum of Fine Art. And you come over here, you got the Forge Zone, and watcha! You got all the different portals. Very fantastic stuff. By the way, Jackie, if you're actually listening to this... I love what you're doing so far with this tree. It's very fantastic. It adds it added a lot more uh branches to it and you need a whole lot more uh leaves on it. By the way, you are in currently in Super Vanish. So if you could please do slash S V unless I can do it for you. Uh I doesn't look like I can. Okay. Uh, slash SV, if you would please. Thank you. And yes, the reason you're in Super Vanish right now is because technically, in order to give you access to do what you needed to do, I needed to give you op temporarily, which is not something I do at all. Hey, thank you for getting out of there. Um, it's not something I do at all for anybody. It's just uh, I needed somebody to build this and... You were the one that offered to do it, and it's looking pretty amazing. I just need you to finalize it. I think I streamed this area. You got a whole bunch of different portals. All the ones on the outside here actually have a name. Um, this is actually the current one that we're going to be getting mods for uh, if Chad ever drops some suggestions. I called it the Deep Abyss. and I wanted it to be a water world just because it's using the Prismarine, and it's actually stuck in between, you know, two bodies of water there um, so that's fantastic stuff this one is technically on the box right now it's technically being set up 
The reason it's not open to the public yet is because we're working on a map. This one, I'm not sure. I got to figure out the mods for it right now. I'm not even doing anything with it. Uh, this one as well is the same way, and this one as well. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with this one. I was hoping for, like, dragons, but uh, I got the name of Zootopia, so, yeah, I don't know. This one is already set up uh, with the mods, ready to go. It's not set up on the box yet, but that one's ready to go. Um, basically, it's going to have the RL Craft mod pack in here, along with a couple other stuff. Uh, this one actually has to be my favorite one, and I have yet to actually see the server. Mod pack's ready for it. Uh, I just need to actually get the server set up and ready to go. Add all the perms and stuff like that. But I'm very excited about that one. Um, <clears throat> this one as well. This one I like. Because you can actually go into outer space with it. It's got freaking rocket ships, space stations, and, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. It's very fantastic. It's very cool. Um... I also found an Alien vs. Predator. That's actually what it's called. The mod is called Aliens vs. Predator. And I'm gonna it adds aliens into the game. It's very fantastic. That's going on this server. Uh, this one is just a whole bunch of random stuff. I got 90% of the um, Trollcraft mod pack in here along with a couple extra ones. So that's kind of like the, the only one that's not really themed. It's just kind of... Whatever I wanted, I put in there. Parasite Apocalypse is actually pretty interesting. It's it's kind of sort of a like a hardcore uh, style uh, server, including Dungeon Craft, uh, also known as RL Craft, uh, using that mod pack. But it's it's actually pretty cool. Um, so this one, this one's one twelve two. Uh, this one's 112 2, 112 2, 112 2, 112 2, 112 2. This one is going to be 116 5, and I kind of want the, the other three here to be 116 5. Now, on the actual center of the tree, you'll notice I have the ability, I have the area for, set up for four new portals, including one that says just another server. This one's actually open to the public. Can you figure out, chat, where it goes? I'll give you a hint. It's lucky. Because <laughs> it's an Easter egg. And if you click this dude, right click this dude, you'll be like, ooh, you found my lucky pot of gold. That was a terrible accent. Why did I do that? <laughs> now, I was just doing it for fun. It was just like, Hmm, this is a big old big old tree on the inside. I mean, you should put something in here, kind of like a Easter egg. But I really do actually want to use that portal for uh, an actual server. So, if it's here, you know where it is. If it's not here, you know why. But, it probably won't be on there for very long because we already have an Easter egg. And then, as usual, if you go down into the cave... It's going to get very... Actually, it's not going to get very dark. I'm in Super Vanish. Um, but if you go down in the cave, I still kept this. Um, now, for those of you who actually joins the server, you may have recognized this area, especially this little cave system. It looks a little bit different because I added some stuff on the actual spawn side of things that I didn't add here. This is actually the exact same schematic um, and it's not actually a schematic that I found on the internet. Um, the build team actually made this schematic. <clears throat> As you can see, it was um, it was Cupcake and a Swedish Moose that made this particular spawn. Now, they made it on the creative server, and in order to get it here, I had to turn it into a schematic to be able to do, you know, ch uh, move across server. Um, and then when I started setting up this uh, portal area, because it's a lot more room, I can get a lot more servers, 
than the way that it was originally just it was very very tight I didn't really like it but I like this a lot better and I can actually decorate it a lot more um, and so I'm like hmm I need something that kind of sort of fits in with the style of hub while still having walls so I decided to just pretty much reuse the exact same build as on spawn and just clear out 99% of the interior I did try to keep as much of the original build as possible, so that's why you have this little house uh, in the cave system because I just thought it was I just thought it was cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's the little update that I have here. Uh, VPN users, I'm terribly sorry, but I have some very bad news for you guys and gals. If you use a VPN, you cannot connect to this server. And the reason being is we actually had to uh, get rid of the use of VPNs with an anti-VPN plugin. Um, the, just in case we had to IP ban anybody, I didn't want people to um, just pretty much turn on their VPN, switch to a different IP, and get back on and then destroy the server. Um, <clears throat> so, terribly sorry about that, but if you don't use a VPN, you're going to be fine. You sh should be fine. Um... But yeah, this is this is actually looking pretty nice. Now, Jackie, is there any reason why you're not that I'm complaining, but is there any reason why you're using green wool and not actual leaves by chance? Yes, I I know I know you're not in a VC with me, but I would hope that you're listening to this stream while you're building, and you can just say it in chat in game if you want, if you can actually hear me, but. I, j I was just curious, that's all. Ah, yes. For the official rules for the server, check out hashtag rules in the official Discord. That actually will be changing once I get the website. Uh, because that that website is actually uh, it's it's a lot more user-friendly and basically you don't have to worry about signing in or anything like that so it's gonna be it's gonna be very fantastic that's also where you're gonna get the uh, get the ability to download the mod packs uh... right now we're having a, a little bit of an issue getting it set up and ready to go um... the code is all said and done for it um, i'm just having an issue with Couple, couple mod pack or a uh, couple tabs showing up as in insecure uh, for the rest of the, the the website. So we got a little, we got a little uh, bug fixing to do, and it's been kind of kicking uh, everyone's butt because it's just it's very stubborn. It's like no matter what we do, we just can't get it fixed. So I really have no idea what the issue is. Um, Jackie, do you actually want to continue using the green wool, or do you actually want to use the leaves? Because I can easily fix that. And yes, this is basically just going to be me talking until I get, you know, more people in here to actually drop some suggestions. Because I could, I could really use your suggestions, folks. <clears throat> We're always, you know, updating and upgrading the servers on the network. So, we, we love to hear from the community. Um, as always, you can just go onto the Discord if you actually have one. There is four, I think, four different suggestions channels. Um, if you do it that way, if I'm not streaming like this style of stream, if you do it that way, please keep the suggestion relevant to the su suggestions channel that you're in. So for all the Discord suggestions is where you could uh, put, you know, your Discord suggestions. And for all the, uh, you know, event suggestions is where, you know, you, you basically what I'm saying. Um... Nah, not right now. Thank you, though. Sorry, Jag. 
Alrighty, I need some IDs right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Little middle click with a 3513. What kind of what kind of leave should I use? Uh what what uh, what what kind of used spruce? Didn't I spruce? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna use maybe spruce leaves. Okay. So. Replace 3513, 181. Replace 3513, 18, Uno. Hey, alright. I actually like that a lot better. And I also gotta say, Jackie, you did a phenomenal job getting that curve just the way I wanted it. Very fantastic. Very good. I like it. The only thing I ask is make sure when you go out so far with these leaves, just make sure that you have wood uh, <clears throat> touching the leaves so that way they don't automatically decay. Um, also, I was thinking of having like the leaves kind of, sort of, covering the whole entire area so the way you can't really you can't really a hundred percent see the sky um so basically like just fill the entire area basically make it like a canopy uh because the the last time that i saw this i did mention that it was like it's good but the leaves are too sparse so i definitely want to see more leaves But I do, I do like this, uh, I do like the extra, uh, branches here. I wonder if I can't actually just make this a little bit easier on you. All this wool is going to be wood, right? What, uh, what Y level am I? 107. So let me go over here. Make sure I get out here. Yep, one. Alrighty, we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Alrighty, up one. Bada boom. We're gonna see how bad this actually looks. If I do it this way, thirty-five one seventeen one. Replace. 351171 I don't know if they should have been facing that way or not cuz they're all kind of sort of facing the same way up uh oh well, it you can you can mess with it a little later on, or just keep it like that. I don't know; it's up to you. I just did it. I did it the easy way. Cause, yes. Also, did you, Jackie? Did you change your chat color on Twitch? I don't remember it being orange before. I like it. It's a cute color. <clears throat> but yes, good things are coming to the network. And we've bolstered the security as well, especially since... Especially since uh, a certain somebody who used to be a very good friend of mine decided to be a traitor and backstab me and they requested a raid of the network out of revenge for me. Completely petty, completely immature and childish and completely uncalled for. If you ask me. But hey, 
The way I see it, let them come. Have their fun. We'll be waiting. But, uh, no, I like that, Jackie. It's, it, it, it totally looks good on you, that color. You should keep it. I like it. Um... <clears throat> I really don't have anything of importance today. I was kind of hoping to get some mod suggestions because I'm out of ideas. I really don't know what all goes uh, on an aquatic server like that. And I kind of want to keep all the mods related to the theme of the server. I really am out of ideas and I could really use your help, chat. And by chat, I mean Jackie, because she's the only one here. <laughs> Unfortunately. But hey, I have so many more servers I want to get. So you could participate in another stream like this one. I would really much appreciate your help. So, I don't know when it's going to be. But right now, I can tell you where you can go. You can go on this channel at twitch.tv slash queensgamingpalace if you're actually watching the VOD. And you can join me live on the next stream, whenever that is. And uh, drop some suggestions. I'm actually excited. There is so, so many servers. Uh, I got I got to this point and it's like I really don't know what to put here. Um, <laughs> that was the only reason I mean that and it was like I was bored and it was just a funny joke that I put in this freaking pot of gold. Basically, I wanted I wanted to drop. I saw an easy way to do this. Uh, somebody made it on I think mobile pocket edition. They pretty much took a, a cauldron, stuck it down, and then... Actually, I lied. I lied, I'm sorry. They they dug a hole in the ground, put a armor stand in that hole, put a golden helmet on the head of the armor stand, and then set up a piston with a cauldron above that uh, golden helmet and they pushed the piston down into the cauldron and pushed the cauldron on top of the uh, armor stand and then all that showed was a little bit of gold and that was their pot of gold. It was actually pretty cool when I tried that but because I bolstered my security system it's like, yeah, nah, we, we prevented the, uh, we prevented one entity from being shoved into another one and it freaking deleted the armor stand and golden helmet. It's like, okay, apparently that is an exploit that people try to use to break servers and apparently it's very successful. By the way, one of the very successful, uh, exploits that people have used on this, this, uh, creative server of mine is minecart stacking but queen you can't you can't crash a server with just minecarts all contraire monitor yes you can and it was very successful and basically it was only successful as long as there was somebody standing beside it because once I once I whitelisted the server and I did a kick all on on the server <clears throat> this dude that was actually using this minecart exploit left the server, obviously, because the kick all command is very effective. And lo and behold, the TPS started coming back up. And I was like, wow. Okay. See, here's here's my here's my thing, okay? If you don't like a server don't play on it don't destroy it but don't play on it you know cuz somebody somebody worked hard for that Jackie here's what I was thinking maybe for these edges maybe you can create kinda like a like a little arch that goes from branch to branch kinda like a 
kind of smooth it out like a big old mushroom or just something to make it look a little bit more realistic something or another shout out to Jackie man like for reals she's got talent okay very fantastic uh, the other, the other, the other reason that I was really irritated when they decided to lag out the server was the fact that <clears throat> I was currently testing Jackie's ability to build at that time, and they were like, "Hey, let's get on the server and try to crash it." And it's like, you know, it just by doing that it just ruins the experience for everybody else yes I understand that I only have like upwards of five players at a time okay but it's still something and you're basically just ruining the experience of everybody and it was because that creative kept getting lagged out that I decided to heavily restrict it so basically it will be open to the public, but not the public public. So there's there's going to be some heavy changes coming. I can't really say, uh, I can't really say what I'm going to be doing right now. But I'll definitely be telling you all what the uh, new way of doing things is when I get the new way of doing things done. Uh, yes, servers are actually very expensive. Um, not this one, because this one's actually pretty, pretty sweet. Basically, I have, I have all of the servers on one single box for one low price of 120 bucks a month. Very fantastic. And it's like, what, 12 different servers, a bungee cord server... Uh, currently a CDN server that I don't think we're using that maybe will be going the way of the dodo and a dragon bot. Uh, well, I should say a discord bot that's called the dragon bot. But basically for the longest time I've, I've had the, uh, the slogan, a place where dragons roam. And, yeah, you can count the Ender Dragon, but I was really referring to myself, you know, because, rawr, ooh, <laughs> anywho, it wasn't until I got townie that dragons really did roam the lands, because there's a race called dragons. That I believe Jackie is one, and I know I am. Uh, <clears throat> and it's really not going to be until we get the World of Dragons server that it's really going to be a place where dragons roam. So, in case you didn't know it, I really, really love dragons. They're really cool, really awesome, very fantastical beasts. And, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, they're cool. Who doesn't love a good dragon? I love it, Jackie. But like I said, just make sure every now and then you have, uh, wood in there so that way it doesn't, doesn't decay automatically. Somewhere, just make, make the wood not visible somehow I love it so far it's pretty good we may actually get this done today it's very fantastic I love it so far now I did actually have to modify the the little stream here to make it fit with the new setup but I think it went very fantastic and yes, I only kept this because, you know, decoration. <clears throat> Let me go over to my 
Discord to get a little bit more people in here with the at everyone tag. Everyone's gonna love me. Not. <clears throat> I seriously try not to ping everyone very often. Uh. I'm live right now, and I want you all to join me for the stream. This will be interactive with your hand to find new mods for another server. You watch the stream, you don't touch your account. Yeah. At everyone, activated. It's very good stuff, yes. Very, very good stuff. So, Jackie, do you think... Why am I experiencing dropped frames right now? Like, for reals. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I accidentally hit a wrong, wrong button. And it opened another program. Welcome. I got a new player. I don't know. Right now, I'm just kind of very highly suspicious of, like, everyone that joins that's new. Um. <clears throat> I should probably make a backup. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think I'm actually going to get rid of, the, rid of the Easter egg. It's been fun while it lasted. But nothing, nothing can last forever, unfortunately. Set air. Alrighty, there we go. It's very fantastic. NPC. Select. NPC. Remove. Alrighty, now what we can do is we can do the thing, like, so, da da boom, bing bang bong. Okay. And now we set this to air. Because, yeah. Get that, get that. Need the ID for that and that. Uh, 221 So, replace. 17 0 dirt and replace 221 uh 35 1 maybe no 35 replace 35 1 35 2 2 is the one that I wanted okay uh, and then I'm gonna get the grass in here just because, yeah. Okay, cool. And I can get rid of Z hologram. Hologram remove. Remove, not, not, not move. JS. There we go. That was just a joke anyway. So, yeah. Out of all these along the along the side here, we still have four more slots available. Ah, <sighs> boy, this is gonna take up so many servers. <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it because it's more fun for you guys, the viewers. Um. But, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to get any more people joining. Which is unfortunate. I really should be streaming every day. I know that. I get that. I'm sorry. But I tried. I tried. But yeah, 
I am I am halfway to the path to affiliate right now. I streamed for like 17 hours now, not including today's. Uh, I got I streamed on seven different days. And all I need to do is get 50 followers. Uh, thankfully, I'm up to, what, 11 now? I want to say. So thank you all. Big shout out to all of you who, who followed me. Thank you so much. You guys rock. Um, the, hardest, the hardest part about getting to affiliate is getting the average of three viewers. Basically, I need that number to be three, and last I saw, it's currently at 0 0.8. That's going to be the hardest one. So, but yeah, I actually have a plugin on here that allows me to add custom images. It's currently also on Townie, in the RP Townie world. Um... But yes, you have you have the Discord logo and then also the Dragonbots logo. You have the QGP channel logo on uh, I want to say it's definitely on YouTube. I want to say it's also on Twitch, but I know it's for a fact on YouTube. You have the server logo in all of its glory. I love this logo. Thank you so much to whoever made it for me. I'm sorry I keep forgetting. Um you did a good job. And then we have this awesome, awesome dragon. And then four, or, you know, four default paintings. And yes, the other side is exactly set up the same way. It's basically just reversed. But it works. And so that's that. It's very fantastic stuff. But yeah. So, the original area, in case nobody ever saw it, was only, only this, this wide. This, this, yeah, it, it was, it was super cramped. It <clears throat> limited the amount of servers that I could get. I just didn't like it. Um, so I decided to come up with this idea and just kind of make it like, like a gate almost with a gatekeeper sitting there like I had before. Now you can actually pass through it and go to a bigger, better area where it's fantastic. More servers than ever before. It's very good stuff. And I may be a little bit crazy. I may be a little bit insane for wanting this many servers. That can't be it, right? <laughs> Anywho, it's looking like I'm not getting any more uh, people on the stream. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it. I really didn't have anything to do. I was kind of hoping to get mod suggestions, but that didn't work. But that's okay. There's always next time. And with that, we leave you. I am so used to YouTube. I really am. I'm going to hit the ending screen. Uh, ending, ending, ending screen. Uh, lots of people on Tumblr are that way? What, what do you mean? As in crazy for having a lot of servers? A lot of people... Tumblr doesn't have a... Doesn't have any servers. Also, I really like this. It's very fantastic. It looks great. I don't know. Should we? I just, I, I don't know. I'm just going to end the stream. Anywho, we'll see you on the next one. You know, there, leave you. Uh, what, what you mean is that people make lots of blogs. Oh, I gotcha.